Hey guys, so we're going to talk about the Iroquois Confederacy. Hi, we're going to talk about the Iroquois Confederacy as part of the politics that are eventually going to lead one day to the United States. So to do this, you could do drawn notes. There are also digital notes that you may do, but I just want you to be able to understand how this one day leads to our political system. So for the Iroquois Confederacy, the Iroquois Confederacy is, if you were in my class, you'd understand this by the tell of the dinosaur, but a group of tribes that are going to be native to New York, okay? And so we have, the way to remember it is Mooks. We have the Mohawk. Yes, that's where we get the hairstyle. The Oneida. Onondaga. Cayuga. And Seneca. So, one of the reasons that we talk about the Iroquois Confederacy is because it's a group of tribes that are surrounded. They speak the language Iroquois, okay, or Iroquois in French, or French. They are surrounded by a group of tribes that all speak a different language, which is Algonquin, right? Eventually, if you did the explorer's notes, you're going to know that the French are going to be allies of the Algonquin and that the British are going to be allies of the Iroquois. Okay, These are the two most powerful tribes, but essentially the Iroquois are surrounded on all sides by people they consider enemies. So they form a union. They form a confederacy. A confederacy is a union of separate governments or tribes or political groups that all work toward the common goal. For the Iroquois Confederacy, it might be that the common goal is defense. Okay. So, here's essentially how it works. They have these five tribes, Mohawk, Onan Oneida, Onondaga, Cayuga, and Seneca, and they don't have a written document for this. They actually have belts that were traded. They're called wampum belts. That they agree that these belts, if ever broken, are useless, right? If they do not support each other, then ultimately their tribes will fail. Their tribes will be taken over by the French be taken over by the Algonquin-speaking peoples around them. So they need to keep this chain unbroken. Okay? And essentially, that's what a confederacy is. Later on, right, and this is something that's going to be on your quiz, later on, you guys need to be able to tell me about impact. Benjamin Franklin, okay, the cute little bald glasses dude is going to propose something after hearing but hearing about the Iroquois Confederacy and he's going to say maybe we should have the same thing in many of your history teachers walls you're going to see this as a symbol of confederacy which is maybe the colonies with South Carolina North Carolina Virginia, Maryland, and these groupings of colonies, right, maybe 
they too should band together in confederacy in order to protect themselves. Because like a snake, if any part of the snake gets cut, then the snake will die. Okay, that is the Iroquois Confederacy. You should ask your teachers if you have any questions. For sure, let us know.